a childhood game of make-believe, surviving in the woods of Germany with his only tool, a knife borrowed from the kitchen, is where Peter Demmer's attraction to knives began. Basically, I made my own knife out of wood when I was around um, 10, 12 years old. By the age of 16, he had made his first real knife out of an old metal saw blade. It worked, but the durability just wasn't there. Knife making in itself is a science and a technology. A mechanical engineering degree and an education in metallurgy and welding gave him a better understanding of steel, which fueled his hobby as a knife maker. And all that helped naturally to support all the important things in knife because steel is the most important thing in the knife. With a move to Canada about 20 years ago, Peter started the transition from hobbyist to quality custom knife maker and has now set up a little shop in Nanaimo. Steel is a very complex issue. There is normal carbon steel around, there is stainless steel around, and I'm using basically the state-of-the-art powder metallurgically made stainless steel because it has a fabulous edge holding. And um, with the stainless, it is corrosion resistant. An average knife can take Peter around five or six hours to work it through about 47 steps to create a quality blade. Some of his specialty knives can take up to 25 hours to forge. That starts with making the design and putting the design on the steel, cutting out the steel, doing the grinding of the rough shape and doing the drilling of the holes and then you start grinding the bevel on the plate. So after the knife planes are cut out, we are getting the grinding, so basically the edge shape. These ones here are pre-ground with 50 grit sandpaper, see the difference nicely. And here the 400 grit shows nicely the difference in the grinding lines. And then you do the heat treatment. After the heat treatment you clean it up, sandblasting, you have to buff it again. And then there comes the bolster work with cut, marking the bolster, cutting it out, drilling the holes there and then the handle material. He likes to design what he calls practical knives for food preparation, fishing and hunting. That is my signature knife, the neck knife, in this case the fish design. It's one hand operation, you grab the knife, you push up the sheath, and you have your nice, fancy little cutting tool with you every day, and it won't fall out. His passion for creating custom knives led to a collaboration with Nanaimo chef Corey Parsons. Custom knife doesn't always mean that you have fancy Damascus in the blade or fancy material. A custom knife can also be that you help somebody who has uh, how shall I phrase that, restrictions in handling your knives. I had a spinal injury about 18 years ago. I dove in a lake and broke my neck. Um, so I'm essentially paralyzed from the chest down, upper chest down, and my hands are paralyzed. I don't have any voluntary motion of my fingers. But when I was using this knife for the last 10 or 12 years, this post right here, where my thumb would go up against, would actually cut into me. So that was one of the design things that Peter took notice of and wanted to protect my hand. Um, so that when I was cutting, I would be able to do uh, a lot more work and more efficiently. It was a very interesting journey making that knife for Corey. He came by the next day and took photographs of my hands, videotaped how I used my hands in the kitchen, uh, measurements, notes, uh, and then went back to his workshop. And a couple of days later, he came back with a wooden mock-up of the ulu that we were, you know, working on. So and even the second one doesn't really fit in everything in detail so there was more modification needed so that Corey was able to get a good control of the knife. It sped up my my production and uh, incredibly accurate you know for a larger knife and a heavier knife I have better control and better precision with it. Peter says his evolution as a knife maker is far from finished. He loves to design knives, test new ideas and new materials. He is currently working on a special order for the BC Wildlife Federation. So that is kind of a recognition that uh, the work what I'm doing brings the quality and bring, makes people happy. Now we have a sharp knife. For Go, on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.